I had a wonderful mother who was an angel who got me here, actually. She sadly passed away in 1984. She, though, was a dedicated artist all of her life, and I was inspired by her art her work in art and commitment to it. What we're doing here is a, a tremendous privilege for me to pay tribute to her with 118 pieces of work that I have had that represent her early years and morph into the later years of her, her, her career of art, where she started in a disciplined way in, in portraits and, and figure drawings and evolved into landscapes and portraits on oil and subsequently the last years in abstract expressionism. You know, we're always looking for opportunities to highlight art and the opportunity came up with Dr. Farid so we were glad to, t to take him up on it. It's important to showcase different types of art and different artists so that's what we're doing. Uh, it's been wonderful to be able to show the art at the Carmen Durazo Cultural Arts Center that is an expansive and beautiful gallery and we've uh, brought in paintings that are in my collection and mine is just about a third or a quarter of her artwork and it's a uh, an opportunity for the Imperial Valley to appreciate her work and to appreciate art in general and also for, I hope, students to learn how an artist progresses from the early years. For, for her, it was the 1940s and 50s and then into the 60s, 70s and subsequently 80s. This event that my dad and the community here organized um, has been pretty special for the for the whole family because we get to uh, also get together and to see uh, a, a pretty big sample of the work uh, on big walls and together and uh, it's a very special thing for us to be able to celebrate her and, and celebrate my dad's. Uh. This is the Martha Carfarid art exhibition here at the Carmen Durazo Cultural Arts Center at back of the De Anza Hotel that will be every day from 4 p.m. through 7, 8 p.m. We won't close the doors if people come in a bit late, but on Wednesday in particular, there will be ceremonies to uh, honor the event in particular, and we will start that at about 6.15. The event is open to the public, it's free of charge, and it's uh, geared toward the people who are inspired by art, and particularly students, if they could come and see what is involved in a career in art.